All right, you guys, so this video is going to be about <laughs> these two grown men who just keep going at it, right, on YouTube. Hassan Campbell and Kwame Brown. Hassan Campbell is a YouTuber. If you, if you, you know, click on this and interested in it, you know who Hassan Campbell is. And we all know who Kwame Brown is now. I, I don't really watch basketball, so I didn't know who he was beforehand. But I learned about him like over a month ago since all this stuff went down with Matt Barnes and them. And I thought about doing a video about them before, but I didn't because I was just... I guess I was just so wrapped up in listening to every uh, they, they videos going kind of like back and forth with uh, Kwame going against whoever. Because people keep coming for him. So he responds to Charlamagne and the God, Matt Barnes, Jax, whoever. So when Kwame Brown uh, was getting a lot of attention, well... Let me just say this. Today, earlier, early in the morning, Hassan Campbell was live. Why was he live? Well, to respond back to Kwame, uh, vi latest video of him, Kwame going off on him. And the reason why, it, well, Kwame was going off on him basically saying that he's a, you know, he, he touched kids and stuff like that. So, now... Hassan's feeling some type of way about that because he feel like he's uh, scandalizing his name. There's a bunch of YouTubers that are harping on that and uh, remixing the original video, which I can't find it, but he's they're remixing the original video of him admitting to like saying touching kids or and all that stuff like that. And I'm gonna get into that. So this is so this is what happened. Hassan is live today this morning. And he's going off on Kwame, and he's saying, I don't want these problems. You keep coming for me, blase, blase. And he then, Hassan, he then starts saying, like, you know, how he don't want these problems. But at the same time, he's making fun of Kwame Brown's father. You know, Charlamagne brought, Charlamagne the God brought that up, saying, you know, he, he, you know, killed his, I think, girlfriend or wife or whatever. Uh, Kwame, Bonds, Kwame, Kwame Brown's dad. He's in the video, y'all. He got the axe, motioning it, and making... Y'all know how, if you follow Kwan, Kwan, I mean Hassan Campbell's content, or even just look for it, even if you're not subscribed, he has a way of talking about a situation and being very animated at times where it's like, why are you animated? Why are you... It's inappropriate. Like, you you snap boxing. He's doing all these uh stuff like, and air him out, and all this. He just, like real animated and then he tried to act real tough at the same time but in this video that he did this morning it was alive i don't know if he's going to post it up or put it on patreon as he said i'm not sure but it's gone now but i don't know if he's going to upload it but anyway what he was basically saying that yeah your father's a murderer he's a killer and he 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 he, he chopped the woman with the accent like he's doing all of that and it's just like that is so inappropriate now, one would say, why is he so angry talking like that? Meanwhile, he's saying now he don't want no problems and stop talking about me. Well, you know he's going to keep going, especially after you say that. And the same time that Hassan was live, Kwame Brown was live. And they both were neck and neck with people watching. 7,000 on both of them, people were tuning in and they lives watching. I was going back and forth. But let me just say this, right? So the reason why Hassan Campbell is mad at Kwame, because Kwame, in response to... Uh, Hassan, Hassan started this thing first when Kwame Brown first really came out onto the YouTube scene and making all this noise in response to Matt Barnes and whatnot. A lot of people was loving him, flocking him. He's a one-man show. He's got this personality, the way he's taught. People love that he's the underdog defending himself. And his viewers, went, I think he had like under 100,000. And now he's at 401,000 subscribers. Kwame. What's his name? Hassan is at, I think, 350. I think it was 359, but he's losing subscribers. Or oh, maybe it was like 355, and now it's 351 or something like that. But he was a, he's losing a few subscribers as he went at Kwame Brown. So he went at Kwame. Well, first, what he said about Kwame was basically um, his fans were asking, what do you think about Kwame? Because they wanted them to the link or whatever, because they're kind of, I guess, similar in some ways. And so Kwame uh, uh, Hassan was like, um, you know, basically, you know, I've been doing this first and uh, we've been taking hits first and 
why does it take it uh, for a basketball player for everyone to listen to and whatnot? And so um, you could tell that he was a little salty that Kwame, people are listening to Kwame and he's surpassing uh, Hassan. So then he made another video basically being up, sounding upset, like don't compare me to him. I get what he's saying, don't compare me because at my age I was doing this and it's two different life. But at the same time, he made it sound like it was something wrong or whatever. So Kwame Brown responded back and they kind of went back and forth or whatever. Then he got introduced on his live. Uh, Kwame Brown brought Hassan on his live. And basically, did Kwame, uh, Hassan forget, asked for, for well, Qu Hassan apologized. And Kwame was basically wasn't having it. He, did, he was not going to just accept his apology and that is his right. You can't come at somebody and then dictate how they respond, especially if that person think that you are just talking about them to get their attention just so you can apologize and get all his attention or whatever. So that's how he feel. That's how he think. You can tell that he wasn't going to forgive him. He, uh, Kwame had two other people came on the live and just pounced on him, uh, Hassan. So he wasn't going to forgive him. So that's just that. And since then, it's been uh, what's his, uh, kind of like a back and forth. And then Hassan will stop, but y'all know how Kwame, Kwame don't let him. Like, you go, I go, I'm going to take it a, a step farther. So now, Kwame was on his live, basically, I'm going to let y'all listen to this, right? I can't find the original, but I'm going to let y'all listen to this, because Kwame is basically saying that he's the, uh, Hassan is disgusting. You, you talk about touching kids and all this stuff like that. And even if it was, hypothetically speaking, how you went into details it was disgusting and brought up the fact that uh, he admit to touching kids, uh, Hassan. I want y'all to listen to this video first, right? This is Hassan uh, Campbell. Listen to this video, and this is what's going all around. In my video, if I said it, I meant it. Plain and simple. If I said it, I meant it. So to take my videos with me saying whatever I said, I meant it. This is why the people fuck with me. Let me find your motherfucking son. Right? Let me find your son or your daughter. And let me text him at 12 years old. And when I stick heavy dick in that little 12, 13 year old little bitch, just understand she ain't the victim. When I fuck your 12 year old son, 13 year old son, and then run through your family. And fuck all of the children in your family. All of them. I am not looking to sit up there and pretend with you. Not even a little bit. What you see, what I say out of my mouth, I don't understand why people like to take my videos see? and remix them. So he said people take this video and remix them. And I think I did came across the video, but I couldn't find it. But he, he basically, uh, Hassan Kim was basically saying... People were painting African Bambata, the man who allegedly uh, touched him inappropriately and other kids appropriately, allegedly. He was basically saying that how people cover for African Bambata, how people like constantly defending him and trying to make Hassan Campbell, trying to make him feel like uh, he wanted it. It was like a relationship, like he wanted it or whatever. So he's basically saying, I think he said a week or two from now, that African, African Bambata is supposed to be going to court and basically saying... If he takes him to court or want to take him to court, how can he or any other person who's accusing him win if people are trying to portray these victims as, oh, they're just gay, they just wanted it? You know what I mean? So he's, he's, that struck a nerve with him and he's pissed about that, that Kwame, um, uh, kind of being petty and making, making that video, making it seem like he's saying, oh, you know, I want to do that to, uh, I think it's, uh, I forgot the guy's name, but wanted to touch those kids as a grown man, right? Saying that, he was basically saying hypothetically, and I, the video, another video that Kwame made, he acknowledged that, but he was just still saying like, yes, you said that hypothetically speaking, but it's still sick and how you went into details and whatnot, and you can see how he's talking. It is disturbing to hear it, but I get he was trying to say hypothetically speaking, what if I did that to y'all kids? How would y'all feel because it was done to me? Now, there is something I want to say on Hassan Campbell. Um, and I really want to know your guys' thoughts. Does it make a difference? He did say because he was touched in inappropriate uh, abuse uh, sexually, he did say 
that um because of that, when he was young, I believe he said he started at 12, because of that, he started touching. Now, I want y'all to put it in proper context, because that's going around too. He, I guess the way people want you to think is like he's a grown man touching kids. You know what I mean? But what he's saying is, no, he was a child, 12, 13, touching other people his age, touching them. Now, does that make a difference with you guys? Um, for me, I, I think it, it's still bad because that person has been victimized by you even though you're underage and even though you have a story and it was done to you. But that person that you touch in, even if you're 12, 13 years old and they're 12, you still inappropriately touching them. Was it by force, uh, Hassan? Like, did they tell you to stop? Were they sleeping and you reach over and started just touching them? How did this happen? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to need you to, 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 to do another video and, and, and clear that up because having that um, label on you is disturbing. You know what I'm saying? It is very disturbing. But I want to know what you guys think. Does it make it different from you? I mean, different. I mean, for me, it does show that kids sometimes can mimic what they've been taught. And, you know, your brain is not fully developed at 12 years old. So I get it. And I would I would go more hard at a 30-year-old man or a 40-year-old man versus a 12-year-old kid whose brain's still growing up and tampered with. So I, I think it is different. But, you know, I, I, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the, in the comment section. Because, like I said, you can be 13-year-old. But if you inappropriately touching another 12-year-old and they don't want it, and they, they you know what I'm saying? Like, they're still getting affected by it, I guess. So, I, I don't know what, what to say about that. But, my thing is this, uh, Hassan. I feel like you're playing victim. Because I do feel like you saw what Kwame was doing. You saw the attention that he was getting. You saw how fast he blow up. And I do feel like you say these little sly comments about him and trying to look at him sideways like he took an oath and he's a part of the Illuminati, like trying to insinuate that stuff because you didn't, you wanted people to stop supporting him because you got jealous because he was blowing you in the park. Like he just kind of came on the scene and he's already at 400,000 and you still sitting at 350 something, but you also lost a few thousand subscribers since you've been going at Kwame. See, a lot of people love Kwame Brown and his personality and whatnot, but Hassan, I do feel like Hassan is a little jealous. I really, really, really do. But Hassan, I, I'm not, I don't believe you when you say you want it to stop. I think you want this thing going back and forth. I think you like the attention. I think you like the excitement of all because why would you continue to do it? You keep saying that you want peace and this, that, and third, and you even said yourself, um, the YouTube algorithm is playing with your channel. So you mentioned Kwame name for shock value. So you, you, you did, Kwame was right. You mentioned this morning on your, um, channel that you did it for shock value because YouTube is messing with your channel. So if they messing with your channel, they messing with your, uh, your ability to get as much money out of your um content as much as possible so you just told on yourself you're doing this for the attention and money you really are and then you sit in here because a lot of people are on Kwame's side you trying to play victim you see what i'm saying like he's trying to play victim like oh i don't want this i don't want this but then you got the ex talking about his dad and saying that he's just as crazy too and blase blase so I, i'm not buying it um Kwame was right not to forgive um hassan campbell he he was right he was right. And my that, that's just how I feel. I think that's how most people feel. Kwame Brown knew that he was going to he knew that he was going to apologize and think you're just going to be over like that like, "Oh no, I'm going to talk trash. I'm going to I'm going to be slick with the mouth and then I'm just going to apologize and it can be all cool and over and we can be like this duo that the that the audience want and we can just rock this out and you can ride off of his new wave." To grow even more. Not saying that your channel is something to, you know, throw dirt at because you're doing your thing too. But you are starting to lose a few thousand subscribers, and I want to see how far it's going to go. I wonder if it's it's going to it's going to impact in a major way, or is it just going to be a few subscribers? But like I said, they both got these alive going on, and both was pulling in seven thousand. So they, they they got people watching, and I do think that's what Hassan Campbell want. He want that extra uh. He want that excitement. He want to kind of ride that wave 
uh, that Kwame's on right now and seeing how far that can take him. Can it push his channel past 350 something thousand? Because truth be told, I do believe that YouTube be messing with people's channel and Hassan is one of them. I do believe that and I do believe he sees that YouTube is pushing Kwame so he want to see if he can ride that wave and get more followers. Like can he get out of the 350,000 zone? That's his goal. It's all about money, y'all. I'm telling you right now, it's all about money. It's all about money, but he's playing victim at the same time because he sees that people are more on Kwame's side. So I just wanted to do that video to uh, uh, give my a commentary, my opinion on it. Uh, tell me what you think. Hit that like button, thumbs up, thumbs up. Share, share, share. Subscribe and comment in the comment section of what you what you think about this whole Hassan and Kwame. Whose side are you on? Who you think is right? Um, what do you think about Hassan admitting? Seeing that he touched 12 years old, tw uh, when he was 12 years old, a kid, because he's been touched, he started touching p uh, kids too. At the age of 12 and 13, he stopped doing that. So, tell me what you think about that in the comment section. Does it matter to you? Um, that's all I got to say. I'm out. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.